Hello learners, my name is teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. In our lesson for today, mathematics for grade 6. Today, we'll be working out squares of whole numbers up to 100. And these squares is from 51 up to 100. In our previous lesson, we learned the squares or you learned the squares from 1 to 50. And today, we'll continue up to 100. And my question is, how do you compute square of a number? How do you compute square of a number? And by the way, where do we use squares in our real life? Where do we use squares in our real life? For more on this, join me and we will do a recap of our previous lesson that what is a square? Our square, we said, a square number is the product of a number multiplied by itself. When I take 1 multiplied by 1, what I get, it is the square number. 2 multiplied by 2, what I get, which is 4, is the square number. And today, we'll continue now from 51 to 100. And now I would like you go to our, your groups. And in your groups, let us form numbers from 51 to 100. Using the number cards that I have, first we can form 100 as a number. That is a number we can form. Let me write it here. That is a number we have formed, 100. So you can form number 100 using the number cards. You can also form another number, 55, using the number cards. So you can also form 55. That is another number you can form. You can also form another number like 85. It's another number that can also be formed using the number cards, 85. These are numbers between 51 to 100. So let us first try looking for the square of these numbers. And to start, let us just randomly pick a number, for example, 85. 85, 85. When you are looking at the square of 85, it means it is 85 multiplied by it itself. It is 85 multiplied by it itself. So I love 85 multiplied by 85. That is what I need. So how do I go about this one? How do I go about this one? It is very easy. It is very easy. First, take 85 and expand it to its total value. Expand 85 to its total value or break it to its total value. So 85, when we break it, 85 to total value, to total value becomes what? It becomes 80 plus 5. 80, that is once tenths. So we have 8 ten, eight tenths, 5 ones. So this is one, when we break, we get this one. Now we can use that one to do our multiplication. So take those two numbers. We can just draw a small table here. Small table here to represent our numbers. So inside here, we have 85. And outside here, sorry, not 85, 80 and 5. We have broken, we have broken the 85. And this other side, we have 80 and 5. We have broken them. So now we can do our multiplication. It is easier to multiply this way than the way it is. So 80 multiplied by 80. Remember, in grade 5, you learned about the compatibility of numbers. So you can multiply 8 and 8, then you add the zeros at the end. And using the multiplication table, 8 times 8 is 64. So here we'll have 64. Let me use a different pen. So inside here, we'll have 64, and then we add the zeros. The same way, k, 8 multiplied by 5. 8 and 5 is 40, then you add 0. So it becomes 400. That was the first one. Then we go to the next one. 5 multiplied by 80 to get the same as 400. And 5 multiplied by 5 to get 25. Then after you do this, now add all the numbers. Remember, our sign here is multiplication. 
Now add all your four answers. So the first answer is 6400. 6400, you add 400. You add another 400. And finally, you add 25. When you use your addition sign, what do you get? 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 4 is 12. 2, then you carry 1, you regroup it here. 1 and 6 to get 7. And that becomes your answer. So square of 8 to 5 is 7,225. Square of seven of eight to five is seven thousand two hundred and twenty five. That becomes our answer. You can try it other way if you have. But before you go that, let us try working out another example. We can take eight to five fifty five. I'm avoiding hundred because it's very easy. So let us take fifty five. Fifty five. What is the square of 55? What is the product when you take 55 multiplied by itself? 55 times 55. You can choose to do the way we have done here. You can choose to do the way we have done here. So let us try expanding or breaking this. So when you break 85 to its total, 55 to its total value, you will have 50, 5 tenths and 5 ones when you break it. So now we use this one to do our multiplication. So we'll have now 50 and 5. We also have 50 and 5. We want to multiply in this format. Why I'm doing this? It is easier to multiply in this way than the way it is. So I use multiplication table. 50 multiplied by 50. Remember I've said 5, you multiply by 5, then you add the two zeros. So it becomes 25, then add the two zeros. 50 multiplied by 5 is 25, then you add one zero. Then you come here again, 5 multiplied by 50 to get the same as here, 2, 5, 0. Then 5 multiplied by 5 to get 25. Now, the final step is bring together all your answers. And my answers are 2,500, the next one is 250, the next one is 250, and finally is 25. We are bringing them together by addition. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. 0 plus 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 2 is 12. 2, the group 1 here. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 2 is 8, plus 2, 8 plus 2 is 10. Add 0 here, then also regroup again here to have 3. And square of 55 is 3025. Square, or when you multiply 55, multiply by it itself, you get 3025. You can still work out and do more practice on the squares of whole numbers up to 100. By so, let us wind up our lesson by doing the following task. Work out the squares. Work out squares of. Work out the squares of number one, 63, 100, because we have not done it. And the final task is 95. Work out the squares of those three numbers. Remember to do more practice. From 51 to 100, there are so many numbers in between there. We have only done examples of three. And you can only accomplish this by doing more practice. Go at home with the help of your parents. Can you try to come up with the numbers between 51 to 100 and then look for their squares? Hope the lesson was enjoyable. See you in the next lesson.